Hi guys, uh, I'm home today, so I actually thought I'd do something, a video, that I actually didn't want to do. I never really wanted to do it. But the reason I'm doing it now is because, well, I haven't uploaded for a while. I haven't been to any nice location for a while, but I am going to. And also, I've had a couple of people asking me, and that is, uh, what camera to use. That's generally the kind of question I've been getting. Uh, not a lot, but uh, I've had enough to sort of had to repeat it a couple of times to different people. So I, I thought I'd just make a video just because I'm not doing anything today, I'm bored and I'm at home and over the past uh, couple of days, actually uh, days, I've actually been very busy with my own stuff and um, yeah, I have, I'll probably be going out tomorrow to a nice location and therefore make another vlog tomorrow, but today I want to kind of show you what kind of equipment I use and well, what I carry around with me when I'm out shooting landscape, so uh, it's awkward doing videos at home. I find it very awkward. Anyway, uh, I'll speak to him. And one more thing, just before I start. Don't think that you're going to be so impressed. I don't actually use the most amazing of equipment. I actually use very uh, cheap gear and uh, even my DSLR is not... Uh, the latest or anything like that so I, I don't have a huge budget towards uh, the stuff I carry um, uh, I just take the essentials really I just have the essentials I don't have anything fancy so right you probably can't see me very well but uh, you'll be able to see the bag and uh, this is a, a low pro this is a low pro bag I got it for a decent price, I think it was about 30 quid from eBay. Um, it carries everything that I need it to. Uh, there it is, uh, I, don't, I don't know what it is, I think, I think that's the model, 400AW, flip side 400AW, that's the, that's the bag, it's got a waterproof uh, cover as well, so that's pretty decent. Right, let's get into what's actually in the bag. These are my filters. Yep, you'll see a couple of red filters there, just I like to experiment stuff. Uh, uh, with the filters are these, these are the filter holders, I think that's what you call it. That goes on the camera and you put the filters in there. Uh, this is, uh, this is a, a ring that goes in front of my lens so I can slide the filter holder in there. Uh, this is a lens cap. I use a remote shutter for long exposure from using bulb it's, it's more than 30 seconds I'm going for uh, a small tripod which I have, don't really use and it's very old I've, this, is, this belonged to my dad or I don't know my granddad or something and they, they used it they've used it before back in their day but they've still got it so I, I use it every now and then but not that much and I have a modern day <laughs> Self stick, uh, selfie stick, and my compact camera goes in there, and that's the one that I'm filming with. And it normally the camera that I'm filming with goes in this little box. It's a little Canon, uh, Canon SX two ten IS. That's what it is. Power shot, um, not the best of, of of cameras, but it does the job, and I love the camera. So yeah, selfie stick for that. Uh, for the main stuff, uh, Canon uh, main body, uh, Canon seven D. It's a very old camera, as I said. Not a fancy gear. Uh, it's a, a crop sensor. I'm not actually, even though landscape photographers go for full frame sensors, I'm not that interested because, to be honest, it does the job. I use a 17 to 85 millimeter lens, and the 17 millimeter gives me enough wide of an angle uh, to be able to get the pictures that I want, and I'm quite satisfied with it. 18 megapixel resolution, not the best for landscape as well, uh, but. I'm happy using it. It's a solid camera and that's one of the reasons I use it. It gives me full manual function and a bulb mode so I am, um, uh, this is really more than I actually asked for but maybe later on, uh, maybe I'll go for full frame but right now I just don't have the budget for it and this is amazing, this camera. It's a very old camera but it does the job. Um, and I've got, this is my longer lens, it's a 28-205 so on a crop, print, crop sensor that I'll probably go to up to 200 millimeter, so I guess I think 
Uh, and so this is, I only use this if I'm really zooming into a mountain or something. Uh, pretty nice lens. This is, this is where my compact camera normally goes. Um, a little uh, tissue, lens tissue. That's also from 1960s or something. Belonged to my granddad or my dad. Another lens solution, I think it's cleaner solution. That's what it says on there. I think uh, this is for lens and stuff. So another classic that belonged to my dad or my granddad. And I have a 50mm 1.8 lens which is very cheap as well but I use this rarely um, for landscape. Uh, it's only if I want a depth, uh, if, only, if only I want a shallow depth of field that's the only time I'll probably use it if I really want a nice bokeh but other than that the other lens give me a fairly nice 50mm so I'm pretty happy with it. Another thing that's really important that I can always carry with me is a set of uh, screws, a uh, screwdriver or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it gives me the whole thing and if I need to you know get my way through something or I need to take things off the tripod put it back on and there you go. Uh, I think the most important thing that I haven't actually showed you yet is actually my actual tripod which is the most expensive thing. Uh, well actually it's a decent tripod it's not that expensive but it's amazing because it gives me all the functions that I need and it lets me do everything. It's a nice ball head and it works for me. So love that tripod. And it's really light to carry around as well, so I have no trouble uh, doing that. Uh, another, fil another filter that I use is a polarizer. Uh, it's a cheap polarizer, not very expensive. As I said, I don't use expensive stuff, but it does the job. It does the job. Another important thing that I use is a torch. So important to have a torch. Oh, I think there's no battery in there. Uh, some spare batteries. This is probably so, this is just so important. I don't have some, I have loads of spare batteries. Well, this is all batteries. I have this uh, memory, card hold, uh, memory card holders. This is for my uh, CF cards and this is for my, this side is for my SD cards. So, pretty cool. Oh, and I have this little puppy stuff here and that goes that's just to clean the lens as well that's literally everything I take and that's all I need right guys well this was brief and short and this is exactly everything that I carry uh, with me um, uh, subscribe whatever you like tomorrow morning I am going out again I am going to well you'll find out tomorrow or maybe the day after, that's probably when I'll upload the video. But I have an exciting location tomorrow, I'm going to leave tomorrow early morning, so watch out.